Hi, this is Mr. Van Kaplan. Today I'm going to show you how to put a floor in your house in Autodesk Revit and also how to change the materials. You're very limited with just carpet, wood, and cement, but there's a way you can create a new material and I'm going to show you how to do that. To make a floor, you want to be in Architecture, select Floor, and you can use the boundary line. If it's a square room or rectangle, just use the rectangle. If you've got a complex one, you may have to use the rectangles and the lines. So I'm going to do this little sitting room here with the double doors. Get on the outside of your wall. Okay. Or right in the middle. Do that for both of them. Once you've got your floor done, and that was just a simple rectangle, hit the green check. Okay. And mine was just floor generic. Let's change that to wood joist, wood finish. Okay. You can see the lines there. Uh, click down here and change your visual style from hidden line to realistic. And now you can see that's a light brown wood floor. But let's say I don't like that material. So I click on the floor. It shows you floor, wood joist, 10 inch wood finish. Click on edit type. Okay. Go to structure here. Hit edit. It says oak flooring. You've got to click on it and hit this little three dots. And now you've got all your materials here. Okay. Uh, very limited, but we're going to make our own. Okay. So hit this plus symbol here. And you want to hit create new material. Okay. Again, click that. Create new material. It says color there. Uh, let's say I want a light gray. Hit OK. Pattern. Scroll down there to wood fin it. Wood one is what I'm going to hit. Hit OK. And go to appearance. It has that. I want to right click on that and rename it. So I'm going to say. Okay, so rename, I'm going to say gray wood floor. And then hit OK there. In this box, after you've done that, hit OK. Hit OK again. And now my floor's changed. Okay. Um, Go to my 3D view. Okay. And you can see the little hatch marks on it. On the hidden line. But you can change it back to realistic. That's one way to do it. And that's a pretty generic floor. I'm not real happy with that. So I'm going to show you another way to do it as well. Okay. Go back to your floor plan. Let's do this bedroom back here. And you can do the same thing for carpet. For carpet, just changing the colors a little bit easier. Okay, again, I'm going to do floor. Use my rectangle. Draw that. Change it to wood. Hit done there. It makes it the gray one. Let's say I don't like that material. Okay, so I'm going to edit the type again. So gray wood, hit that. Okay. This time I'm going to make a new material. 
but I'm going to download a material off of, off of the internet. So go to Google, Images, okay, and then I'm going to search for uh, cherry wood floor sample. Okay, and there's all different types of them. I like this dark one here. So I'm going to right click, save image as, put it in your Revit folder, that way it's easy for you to find. So cherry wood, save, okay. <clears throat> Go back to Revit. This time I'm going to make another new material. Go to Appearance. And for Image, I'm going to load that one. Just hit the little down arrow there. Cherry Wood. Hit Open. Okay. I want to change that to Cherry wood floor hit okay okay it changed it to cherry wood floor hit okay hit okay and now let's see how that looks on the realistic okay now scroll in there you got the cherry wood floors that looks better than just the boring gray okay and it it did change that to me as well okay uh, you can do the same thing for your walls. I'm going to show you that real quick. Okay, let's say I wanted the walls of this bedroom here. So I click that one. Hold control. That's an exterior wall. So that's going to be kind of hard to get that one. It's going to select all of it. Okay. I want this wall as well. So hold control, click it, and it's just an interior wall basic partition, okay? You hold those, okay, once you do that, and once you've got the wall highlighted, scroll over here to modify walls, okay, you can demolish, but you can paint. Click that, and you've got some different colors there. Okay, don't worry about the modifying with the paint. Your colors are limited there. Uh, best way to do it, just like we did with the floor. Click on it, go to Edit Type. This is an interior wall, so they call it a gypsum wall. Click that, click the little three dots. Just like you did for your flooring, you're going to make a new material. Uh, let's rename it. Let's say I want that wall to be green. So green paint is what I'm going to name it. Okay. So go to appearances and choose a color of green. Kind of like a teal color there. I'm going to hit OK. Go to graphics. Okay. Hit apply. Hit OK. Hit OK there. Hit OK. And that wall became green. Okay. It looks like it did some of my other walls that way as well. So Practice with that, doing some different wall colors. You have to create the new material. The floor, if it's carpet, just pick a color inside there. Uh, with the wood, my suggestion would be to go find an image on Google Images and do that. So let me show you how to do a carpet real quick. Okay, let's say we want to do carpet in this room. So architecture, we're going to make a floor. 
I've made all my rooms rectangles if you notice so it's a lot easier to do that okay so I'm gonna draw my flooring I don't want it to be wood this time I want it to be carpet finish hit the green arrow I click the default color is red for some reason on your carpet okay and I don't know why so I want to get rid of that ugly red color so I'm gonna go to edit type structure edit carpet uh, I have to create a new material so default new material rename that let's say let's make it tan carpet now you could go and find an image from Google Images for that as well uh, I'm just going to use it make my own color here so let's see. this looks pretty close to it the brown there hit OK there's my color hit apply hit OK hit OK hit OK and now I've got tan carpet now if you if you don't like the way that looks go to Google Images find you some carpet there and it'll actually have the texture to it um, and you can do that same thing on these garage floors some of you have made a garage I know if you want that painted concrete finish you can find an image off Google and do that as well okay so those are how you get some different flooring materials from the default ones and that's also how you change your wall color uh, practice that today and try using some different materials find some that you're comfortable with